Good evening, Pisces, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. I certainly hope that each and every one of you has been enjoying your birthday period, or if it has yet to come, I certainly hope that you do have plans for yourself to do something very enjoyable here. So what I wanted to do for you guys for this month here is to just to start you off with this um, teacup reading, as you see here as I've already shuffled and presented the card that's illustrated before you, okay? And what I like to do is to not only focus on your romantic situation, I also like to just um, share with you messages on other issues that I'm seeing here that, uh, that appear in your reading, okay? Pisces, if you're new to my channel, I certainly uh, appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions, okay? And rest assured for those of you who are veterans to my channel, I certainly appreciate your contributions that you've made as well as your viewership, okay? So we're gonna go on and get started here. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for each and every Pisces out there, but for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope that it does offer you and valuable information, okay? So we're gonna start off by just shuffling up here these Romance Angel cards here, just to get a general feel, ladies and gentlemen, of the energies that I am, in fact, seeing um, coming towards you during this time in question. And again, this reading is valid until the end of this month here, okay? So Spirit, uh, share with me messages that Pisces need to hear regarding their a romantic situation at this time here, particularly this time span in question, okay? Let's see. All right, let's see what we have. It seems that a lot of you I'm getting, usually when I pull this card, let your friends help you, I'm usually getting an indication or I usually feel a strong indication that some of you may be a bit bored or you're just having a lot of problems in your romantic situation. And even for those of you who are single, you may have been having an arduous time, you know, really finding someone with whom you can connect on, you know, a level of trust here. Okay. So this card is kind of indicating that some of you might even consider asking for or accepting support from your friends here, or even the advice that is being proffered. Okay. I also feel that uh, for many of you, that you are trying to move forward in, in healing family type problems that you guys have had. I'm f I feel that there are substantial family problems that might occur for you guys. And this card is suggesting to you, along with having those family problems, you're going to be having those for those of you who might even be married or just involved in a romantic situation here. I just think that some of you may even be harboring, you know, guilt or some anger towards a family member, all right, that you might need to forgive in order to move forward in a harmonious type romantic situation, okay? When it comes to your soulmate here, I'm getting a strong indication here that a lot of you are so accustomed to, you know, just meeting the same type of person over and over and over again. And this card is asking you to really try to keep a, an open mind and understand that your soulmate might, in fact, differ from your usual type and expectations here. And usually when I see this card, there's usually some type of a secret admirer that might be around you, uh, an individual, uh, perhaps you know, that you certainly are not seeing that way, but the person is definitely seeing you that way. And they may be, I feel that they're going to certainly um, take actions towards those feelings. Okay. Because it certainly seems here that you do have a lot of passionate energy that, you know, surrounds you here. All right. So try to extend your lighthearted energy to others. And in doing so, ladies and gentlemen, it certainly seems that some of you might even be involved in some type of a, um, a risky type situation or a situation that really isn't benefiting you, okay? So 
this card is signaling to you that it's time that you really pay attention to the red flags here. Not only with someone with whom you're dealing, but also with new people that who may enter your life, uh, particularly this month in question here. And let's just pull another card and then we'll just go on and get into your reading to see what other information that uh, comes out here. All right. I also feel too that a lot of for a lot of you financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And maybe some of you may not, not even want to date because this might be, you know, causing havoc for you. Or in fact, you might have someone that's with whom you're dealing that is after your finances. And perhaps I feel that a lot of you might even be really focusing more so on your finances in your in or your career so much so that you really don't have time for you know really getting into any involved in anything serious here all right so let's go on and just move on and just see what your teacup reading is offering you here now i've lost i've misplaced my wand here so i'm gonna have to use my pen here to do this reading all right so I'm going to start off with just looking at the more negative energies that I'm seeing um, that coming towards you. And we'll just end this reading more on a more positive uh, type ending here. OK, with this kangaroo here, ladies and gentlemen, as you see there, um, it certainly shows that this month is certainly is going to bring about a lot of unsettled times, you know. And this kangaroo is advising you that you really need to start to strategize a bit better here. And you need to plan a bit more here. And what seems to be getting in your way of doing so here, I'm feeling is that you have this will here. Okay. And that will is all about indecisiveness. Perhaps, you know, just when it comes to a romantic situation, maybe you're, you're just having difficulty making up your mind here and even with your career as well as other aspects of your life many of you seem to be allowing your life to ramble aimlessly okay and you're not focusing on the things that you really need to focus on to get you ahead okay i'm also feeling too that some of you may even be harboring secrets or Perhaps you may be dealing with someone who has a torrid past here because you have that skull there. And hidden secrets, ladies and gentlemen, rest assured, they can definitely harm you. All right. I feel also that a lot of you are contemplating, as I've indicated with the romantic angel cards here, is that you're contemplating doing something risky or taking a chance at something here that might not be to your benefit. Again, you need to strategize here because only unsettled times seem to be ahead for you guys, particularly um, with these. It seems that it's going to be more so um, during the first couple of weeks of this month here that I'm kind of getting here. But I'm also feeling a strong indication that you guys are also feeling very depressed or you have been feeling very depressed i'm getting about your situation here going back here is about you know keeping an open mind here and it's also seems to be more so with your romantic situation i feel that you're feeling that someone is working against you all right that's what i'm getting here with this vulture card and rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, someone seemed to be out of performing black magic or they're just doing something uh, behind your back that's not really, you know, loyal here because you do have the bat there. So with the bat, that's, that, that kind of indicates that you might want to be a bit more vigilant here because enemies are trying to make an attempt to work against you that I'm kind of getting here. However, ladies and gentlemen, understand that God certainly has your back here because whatever it is that they're doing or attempting to do, the cobweb assures you that you are certainly protected from negative forces over which you have no control. So spirit really has your back here. Okay, so to just move along here, just to give you more 
uh, information I'm seeing, um, you know, when it comes to your romantic situation here, I'm also feeling the sense that you're going to be very disappointed in a friend or, or a lover here because you have this flute uh, card there. And it seems that there is a strong potential that you will be parting ways with someone. And this, either, this could either be in business, ladies and gentlemen, or it could be um, a romantic situation. And since you do have um, an image of a person showing here, it could connect with this fair woman here for some of you here. Okay, but I'm seeing some type of disappointment or some part in the ways here that is going to cause a lot of sorrow, personal sorrow, so much so that it's going to, you know, exacerbate your worries, your fears, and cause you to be a bit tense here. And connected with that, you're going to be having some type of problems or conflict I'm getting here with your family here because we have the weeping willow there. So you have great personal sorrow. And for some of you, it is or will be connected with something with your family here. And it could be also connected with a fair woman, okay? Someone might get hospitalized. Or, you know, I hate to mention this, or someone may, you know, kind of cross over here, all right? But whatever it is that you're planning here in terms of, you know, when it comes to your romantic situation, we already know that this card has already told you that you might want to consider letting your friends help you when it comes to, you know, finding a new lover here. Okay, and this vine um, symbol here further em emphasizes the fact that you might want to try to seek out information that will help you and will help you get over your worries. It could be either um, your, in your, uh, your career or it could be romantically here. But I do feel that, that there is or will be a friend around you who is in fact there it seems that he or she has been or will be trying to help you here because you have the dog barking. And when you have the dog barking, usually it's advice that you're going to be receiving from a friend. And usually that advice, most of the time, is unsolicited, okay? Or it's advice that you really don't want to hear, but it's advice that you need to hear, okay? All right? So, despite those challenges that I'm seeing here for you guys, you do have an ardent, ardent secret admirer around you, I'm kind of getting here, because you have the vase. And that person will, in fact, reveal him or herself here for some of you again. Because we have the fair woman there, that could be, in fact, uh, the person for you that I'm kind of getting here. Because to further emphasize that fact here, you have the chair filled. And that also indicates that someone new will be entering in your life here. And you're going to see it as a very spiritual, soulmate type connection that I'm getting here with the Lily. All right. And it's quite plausible that this person might be a bit older than you for some of you. I'm kind of getting. Okay. I just feel that uh, this situation seems that it does. It will It does seem that it has some type of potential here because you have the ring here. So it could lead into marriage or a stronger commitment. So for those of you who are, in fact, already in an existing situation here, you know, it could also show that you guys are going to move forward in terms of solidifying your your romantic situation, or it could just as easily be with this new person that's entering your life here, okay? I'm also seeing, too, a possibility of a lot of you taking some type of a short journey and or a vacation here because you have both the kite as well as the horse um, symbol there, all right? I'm also seeing that, you know, despite the fact that financial issues are a factor in your life right now, I do feel that you guys have really put in a lot of effort, you know, to kind of make yourself successful here, or you will be doing that here because you have the ant here, and ants tend to be workaholics, ladies and gentlemen, and this card is all about achievement, 
as well as success here. And it shows that for many of you, you're going to receive recognition for work or a job well done here. We have the basket here. And as you can see here, the basket is certainly plentiful supplied with the necessary, you know, fruits and vegetables here. It just shows that you're just happy here that I'm getting. And for some of you, I'm seeing a strong indication that you're going to be receiving money or property through some type of an inheritance. It could come from a winning or potentially from some type of a windfall or even a lottery win for some of you who are playing lottery here because you have the boat there. So that's a very good card here um, in terms of money. So it looks like you guys, you're going to be having to deal with a few issues here with some of you parting ways from uh, someone, but you do have to be a bit more vigilant with those that, you know, around uh, people, okay? Because people really don't have, ladies and gentlemen, your best interest at heart as you will probably want them to have here, all right? So let's look at a few things that you might consider letting go or surrendering as you move forward with these remaining weeks of this month here. And with that said, I'm going to go on and just shuffle another deck here just to see what it, other energies or what are the messages here that Spirit would like to offer you in terms of, you know, just giving you guidance of letting um, certain issues go in your life that really no longer serve your growth here. So Spirit, give us a few messages here to help Pisces as they move forward this month. Okay. Spirit really wants you to surrender to non-action. This card is all about being still, ladies and gentlemen. So now is certainly the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power and let others come to you. Okay? Surrender to receiving support as well as love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything by your own little self, okay? Because this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you, okay? It's very important that you learn to surrender resentment. Because really holding on to resentment only poisons you. You got to try to forgive others for their shortcomings and really keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life, okay? And most important, ladies and gentlemen, with all that, you know, we've covered here in terms of all of the things that are it looks like it's going to be happening around you. You got people performing black magic on you. That is not going to work. And you also have friends who are untrustworthy, which is going to ultimately cause some type of a parting of the ways, as I've already indicated. But it is now time that you surrender the drama. Okay? Because no matter how emotionally charged the situation you know, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Because really staying centered will really help you resolve the issue more quickly. And more quickly than you have ever could have imagined. And by surrendering the drama, it's time that you learn to, because you have a lot of good things, positive things that, that are coming towards you. It's time that you surrender to joy. Understand that a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and really savor every moment. Pisces, indulge in random acts of smiling. That will help, okay? Because during both the hard and easy times, try to surrender to more joy, okay? And you can see that things are going to get so much better for you. It's time that you learn to surrender to trust. Surrender to faith, okay? It's time that you stop your indecisions. Stop vacillating. 
Trust yourself as well as your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. It's time that you take action and be confident that you have, in fact, chosen the right path. And last but not least, with this card, it's very these cards is very important, Pisces, that you learn to surrender low self-esteem. Because everyone deserves success, and certainly you do, all right? You also deserve love as well as abundance. And you can see that abundance is, in fact, coming towards you here. So try to set an intention to identify it, release any remnants of low self-esteem that has been seemingly plaguing you for some time now that I'm getting here, all right? So what I'm going to do right now, because it's your reading is pointing to enemies that's performing black magic or people just really don't, who really just don't have your best interests at heart here, okay? There's no need to select letters for someone with um, from whom you might um, depart. So we're going to just focus more on the person that, or people that you might need to be a bit more vigilant around here. So it seems that, you know, with one door closed and another one, it certainly is going to about to open for you guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select 20 letters from this bag of 200 letters to help you identify, you know, uh, the new people, not only the new person that's coming into your life, but also um, the person around whom you may want to be a bit vigilant. Because it seems that the cards, particularly with the romance angel, it has indicated that you may want to pay attention to the red flags. And I see it as paying attention to anyone with whom you, you know, kind of get involved romantically. Okay, so let's see what these letters are suggesting or giving us here. We have a D. All right. We have a J. We have an L. An E. W. T. A. G. I, I, okay, B, we have another B, okay, eight more letters, spirit got my hands to eight more letters, please, to help Pisces determine the new people who are coming into their lives as well as the people around whom they should be vigilant, okay? We also have an O, an F, an L, an O, an I, another I, my goodness, and another I. So I seems it might be important for someone, okay? And last but not least, we have an S. So I'm gonna call these back just to ensure that you all have these letters, all right? We have two O's, there are two B's. We have, let's see here, we have five I's here, all right? We have an S, a T, a D, a J, we have two L's, we have an E, W, A, G, as well as an F, ladies and gentlemen. So those letters are for uh, the people who are kind of coming up into your romantic arena, as well as those, you know, that you might want to be a bit vigilant around here. And again, this is a general reading, so these letters may not resonate for each and every one of you guys out there. Okay, so I'm going to go on and pull another deck here just to give you um, some additional messages here because, again, you guys seem to, you're going or you will go through some type of a 
very, very hurtful period here. So what I like to do now is to try to help you to reclaim or restore that unshakable inner peace that your heart so needs or will need, particularly during this common question here. So I'm going to go on and just shuffle up a few cards here to just give you a few messages. All right. So Spirit, give us a few things that Pisces might want to consider when it comes to restoring inner peace. Okay. The Spirit wants you to know that you are certainly the joy seeker. So try to ask yourself that despite all of the, the shortcomings that many of you may have experienced, what little victories can you now celebrate beyond your birthday, of course? <laughs> Again, understand that forgiveness certainly will set you free. So what do you really need to forgive yourself for here? And it seems that these all of these cards have been kind of, you know, suggesting the same things here. All right. Understand that out of the woods, you've made it through, ladies and gentlemen. And ask yourself what newness seems to be emerging in your life. And understand that things are certainly not what they seem. You are only trapped by your own illusions here. So what freedom do you seek? It seems that many of you are going through a greater awakening period here. So it's time that you walk in your own truth as well as stand firm in your light. So ladies and gentlemen, how can you trust yourself more? All right. And last but not least with these cards, understand that you certainly can radically change your results by simply shifting your belief. So what beliefs are limiting you? That's very important. And for you to kind of contemplate now. All right. So I'm going to leave you with a message here. Or actually a postcard that Spirit is leading me to lead you with here. And I'm actually, I have the postcard out now. I'm going to go on and just shuffle one up for you. And I'm going to give you the message that Spirit really wants you to hear. Uh, particularly during this time span in question or for this time span in question. Okay. I have the postcard right here. And I'm going to read it exactly as it reads. Okay. Dear you, the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence. And even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can certainly step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around certainly comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? How we adore you. So Pisces, once again, I certainly hope that you are enjoying your birthday period or you do and plan or have every intention to do so. All right. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and be sure to... Um, send me over your comments because I certainly like to read them. All right. And if you'd like a more personal reading, you can contact me at will.brown at wetconsultinginc.net. Enjoy your evening.